Disney presents... From Adventureland, Disneyland 61 and the Olympic Elk. I'm wishing... And now, your Disneyland host, Walt Disney. The old saying, these are the things that dreams are made of, might well apply to the scale models and the drawings and uh, blueprints. So, <laughs> at least, when we dream up new ideas for Disneyland, they first take shape and form in such preliminary studies as this. It has been said that Disneyland will never be completed. In fact, I said it. That there will always be something new and unusual. And that's our hope. In Frontierland, even the past has a future. For instance, we redesigned the entire desert area and expanded it way out to there. We added more wildlife, Mountains and waterfalls appeared, and it has become nature's wonderland. In storybook land, many new chapters will be added. A topiary garden, such as this model, is one of them. Topiary, the training of trees and shrubs to grow into odd shapes, is almost a lost art. But in fantasy land, where anything can happen, even trees and animal forms will come to life and waltz and dance. Something like this. Since Disneyland opened in 1955, each year has seen many changes. And 1961 is no exception. Snow White's Wishing Well and Fountain, complete with all seven dwarfs, awaits Fantasyland's visitors. In Tomorrowland, a monorail which started operations only two years ago has already outgrown its original circuit. Its new extension leaves the Tomorrowland area of the park to parallel a modern freeway. Along this stretch, the monorail's passengers can experience a practical application of transportation of the future. Appropriately called a highway in the sky, the new Disneyland monorail system covers two and a half miles. Not only is the monorail system an entertainment attraction, but its new extension links the park with the Disneyland Hotel. It is not impractical to believe that such a monorail system could well be the answer to the growing traffic congestion in our cities. I guess you could call it daydreaming, but that's the way Disneyland was conceived. A dream that grew into a reality. So let's go back a few years and see how it all started. In 1954, Disneyland was just a painting on canvas. To transfer and expand this into reality, it took 160 acres, a site that had once been an orange grove, quiet, secluded, and unsuspecting. To build this magic kingdom took more than a magic wand. It took earth movers. Scooping out lakes, canals, and broad riverbeds paid off with enough dirt for rolling hills, knolls, and islands. Rare tropical plants for the jungles of Adventureland were sought out and brought from many parts of the world. There was a deadline to meet and no time for nature to carve out rock formations. So sculptors took over the job. Riverbeds were sealed watertight. Crafts and skills near forgotten were revived and put to use. Craftsmen created a Mississippi paddle wheeler, a pirate ship, a fort of hewn logs, a fairy tale castle.
Down on Old Main Street, the architecture is 19th century, but construction methods were up to the minute. Thousands of workmen were kept on a round-the-clock schedule. Time was running out. A speed-up proclamation was issued. Men, material, and machines shifted into overdrive. The tempo was terrific. This crew could have built Rome in a day. The carpenters were on the beat. A man's got to have his lunch. Oh, well, there's always the coffee break to look forward to. Only fast whistlers could whistle while they worked. After hectic weeks and Herculean labors, the deadline was kept. The dream was fulfilled. But it was a dream with a future, for Disneyland will never be completed. From the beginning, it has expanded and grown as new adventures and new ideas came into being. Here, alongside of Fantasyland's castle, Snow White's wishing well has just been installed. The jets of water from the fountain rise and fall to the rhythm of the wishing song. Snow White and her hilarious crew often visit this beautiful grotto dedicated in their honor. The figures of Snow White and the dwarfs were carved in Italy from the purest white marble. The Variety Club of America is sponsoring Snow White's wishing well. The coins tossed hopefully into the water will be used by this famous organization of show business to help make the wishes of needy children throughout the world come true. The jungles of Adventureland continue to thrive and grow. More wild beasts have been added to increase the fast-growing animal population. A tribe of natives have moved in, and they've been celebrating ever since. In Frontierland, more pages out of history and legend have come to life. The Columbia now sails on the big river, a full-sized replica of the famous vessel that was the first ship to carry the American flag around the world. In Tomorrowland, that ever-changing land, old things constantly make way for the new. The Skyway was added as a link between Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. It's an exciting way to see the sights from the heights. A man-made mountain was added, a huge replica of the famous Swiss Matterhorn. The Skyway couldn't go around it, so... It went right through. And one of the most exciting routes starts here at the Swiss Chalet loading station. Here's a Matterhorn bobsled starting its run. Let's hop aboard.
If you like your history completely in the raw, well, you'll find it in Frontierland, where the six-gun keeps the law. mine train we're leaving right away heading for the wilderness where the barren coyotes play now that waterfall's called big thunder but you won't get wet unless the wind changes rolling across the trestle heading for the mine if you feel like swimming, jump in the water's fine. And up there, those bears are really happy. Their young uns love to climb. That critter there, that's Itchy Sam. <laughs> He's having himself a time. Hey, look, uh, there's an Elks convention. Hootie, did we wake, wake you up? up? Traveling on the mine train through nature's wonderland. Well, here comes a stage from Grizzly Gulch. That's where all the gold is panned. And there's the only man-made natural bridge in America. Here in the living desert, you can't believe your eyes. Sorry, no hitchhikers. If you told the folks back home, they'd think it's a pack of lies. There's varmints all around us, their appetites are keen. Hey, keep your hands back inside the train now. See what I mean? Those old unfaithful geysers live up to their name, you know. You can't tell when they'll blow their tops, they blow and blow and blow. Yep, there they blow again. Steady, folks. That's no house cat. We're in the land of dancing rocks. Watch them rock and roll. We've had a lot of close ones, but we've never lost a soul. Cause traveling on the mine train is a mighty happy ride. And now we're coming to the mine. Let's see the sights inside. Tomorrowland, a fleet of eight submarines, replicas of the United States Navy's atomic subs, take passengers on an exciting voyage. Each submarine is air-conditioned, has shipped to shore radio, and there's a porthole for every passenger. Here's the fleet flagship, Nautilus, heading out for an adventure in liquid space. This is your captain speaking. We are now underway and proceeding on course for a voyage through liquid space. Destination, the North Pole. Rig, ship for dive. Rig, ship for dive. Dive, dive. Pressure in boat. Straight port, sir. Very well. Among these coral reefs, you may see some of the strange inhabitants of this undersea world hiding among the seaweed and weird rock formations. With the use of our exterior sonar hydrophones, we can actually hear the fish talk. Salvage operations ahead, sir. Divers to port and starboard. Very well. Take her down to 350 feet. Use 10 degree down angle. Flood negative.
lost ships. Think of all the treasure that must lie in those ancient halls. Giant squid. Giant squid have often been mistaken for sea serpents. Such reports have persisted for centuries, but of course they have no basis in fact. Tall tales of ocean monsters should be classed as fiction, along with the myth of mermaids, a pure flight of fancy belonging to the realm of make-believe. Here, a view into the distant past fabulous lost continent of Atlantis. The treasures and grandeur of this ancient civilization are believed to have been submerged centuries ago by the eruption of a gigantic volcano. All ahead, full. Helmsman, steer clear of those tottering columns. Aye, aye, sir. stations stand by for action officer of the deck make all preparations for entering port aye sir from the lost world of atlantis to the world of the future is a long jump yet it can be done here at disneyland as we witness the transportation of tomorrow the monorail disneyland 61, Disneyland, 61. Always building something new, new sights to see, new things to do at Disneyland, 61, Disneyland, 61. Growing bigger every day, growing better in every way, it's Disneyland, 61. On the gleaming monorail, gliding through the sky, you'll be having thrills galore and delight when there's excitement. People come from far and near for new adventures every year. It's Disneyland 61. Where the future meets the past, and it's all for fun. You will really have a ball at the happiest kingdom of them all. Always building something new. New sights to see. New things to do at Disneyland 61. Whether you're speeding into the future or racing in the past, there's always something exciting going on at Disneyland. Disneyland's Main Street USA is the busiest and happiest Main Street in America. This festive spirit extends into all the various lands of this magic kingdom, where every day's a holiday.
Disneyland, we always keep faith with nature in reproducing her wonders just as they are. And many of these ideas were inspired by our True Life Adventure series. So now for the second part of our program, we'll take you on a True Life Adventure into the realm of the Olympic elk, a remote mountain wilderness in the northwest corner of the United States. range. 